Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for January 13th. Today's devotion is titled, What's Your Song? The Bible reading is from Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses 15 to 22. Then the Lord appeared at the tent in a pillar of cloud, and the cloud stood over the entrance to the tent. And the Lord said to Moses, You are going to rest with your ancestors, and these people will soon prostitute themselves to the foreign gods of the land they are entering. They will forsake me and break the covenant I made with them. And in that day I will become angry with them and forsake them. I will hide my face from them and they will be destroyed. Many disasters and calamities will come on them, and in that day they will ask, Have not these disasters come on us because our God is not with us? And I will certainly hide my face in that day because of all their wickedness in turning to other gods. Now write down this song and teach it to the Israelites and have them sing it so that it may be a witness for me against them. When I have brought them into the land flowing with milk and honey, the land I promised on oath to their ancestors. And when they eat their fill and thrive, they will turn to other gods and worship them, rejecting me and breaking my covenant. And when many disasters and calamities come on them, this song will testify against them because it will not be forgotten by their descendants. I know what they are disposed to do, even before I bring them into the land I promised them on oath. So Moses wrote down this song and that so Moses wrote down this song that day and taught it to the Israelites. Most Americans knew little about Alexander Hamilton until 2015 when Lynn Manuel Miranda wrote his hit musical, Hamilton. Now, school children know Hamilton's story by heart. They sing it to each other on the bus and at recess. He's their favorite founding father. God knows the power of music. And he told Moses to write down this song and teach it to the Israelites and have them sing it. God knew that long after Moses was gone, when he had brought Israel into the promised land, they would rebel and worship other gods. So he told Moses, this song will testify against them because it will not be forgotten by their descendants. Songs are nearly impossible to forget, so it's wise to be selective about what we sing. Some songs are just for fun and that's fine but we benefit from songs that boast in Jesus and encourage our faith. One of the ways we make the most of every opportunity is when we speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. So sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. Songs can be an indicator from the direction, songs can be an indicator of the direction of our heart. Do the words make much of Jesus? Do we sing them wholeheartedly? What we sing will influence what we believe. So choose wisely and sing loudly. What should you look for in a worship song? Is there a favorite song you can sing more often? Why? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.